Wait, what did I just get? <laughs> Unbreaking three and mending in one book. And how long did it take me? Times used. Let's see, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Fishing rod. 89 times. <laughs> <laughs> Just know that if you or someone you know is struggling with fishing, every true fisherman knows it's not about the catches, it's about the determination and the will to keep going, and it's mostly about the catches. <laughs> Hi, my name is Basti, and welcome to Basti Plays Minecraft. And I've taken up fishing. It's a really good way to waste a couple of hours. And boy, do they go by fast. Me and this old procrastination stick has been wasting some time. But we did get some good catches. And I know Hermitcraft has been fishing a lot and I got a little bit inspired. But don't worry, we will not be doing much fishing in today's episode. Although it would be kind of fun. No, I've got other plans. Today we will do something I should have done long time ago. We will get rid of all of these chests. Because the chest monster is growing and growing and growing. I kinda need somewhere to store all of this stuff. So, I've picked a house. I will actually stop living out here. I will start living in a house. I know, it's pretty incredible. I don't think I've ever done it in a Minecraft world before. And the house we'll be living in is this one. I know, it's wonky. It's weird, and the roof doesn't make sense, but that's fine. That's why I like it. It's just a nice house. I will live here. And let's not forget that the city won't build itself. So, I've got some builds planned for this area as well. Today will be a very build-heavy episode, but that's the way I like it. So, let's get to work, shall we? And so, the first thing I would like to do is go and say hello to Rincewind. Hi, Rincewind. Hi, Binky. No, just kidding. The first thing we're gonna do is check out the area where I want to build my storage system. I want my storage system to be in here. I've prepared a hole right here. But we need to make sure that it's deep enough. Because there's some things I want to do with this storage system. And I've got a plan for it. It's gonna look cool, don't worry. Let me dig this area out a little bit and I will show you what the plan is. Alright, here we are. This is the space. It's looking kind of sparse right now, I know, but I did take my time to color in the walls and ceiling, but we won't see most of that anyways. Okay, here's the plan. We need to go one lower with the floor. I've just decided here on the spot. That's the way things goes. All right, so we're one floor lower. And then I want to continue the gradient here, I think, as well. So we'll shop out these walls as well. We need to do all the walls like this. All right, there we go. That is the walls completed. Now we just need to put some detail in. And we'll use dark oak for that. So we'll just boop, 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 up. Hold on. I'm apparently a bit hungry. And down here we do the same. Oops, that one is visible. There we go. That is cool. That is what we want. Next we do the corners like this. And same on the other side. After we've done these corners, it's time to do these parts. I want these to be a pillar supporting the roof. We can now remove these temporary lighting blocks and markers, because I don't need them anymore. And once the supports are done, start digging our way down to make ourselves a beautiful entrance. And also, I keep missing my shovel for some reason. Where's my shovel? Why do I- why do- why am I always missing a shovel? Where does it go? I just made one. Hello? I guess you could say the storage system is certainly going to be a good asset in my world. There it is. There's the shovel I made. Okay, cool. And after some tedious searching after my stupid shovel that keeps disappearing on me, I can finally continue my entrance shaft. And I decided to use dark oak because it's a good wood, okay? Next up, I would like to start on this floor. And the floor should be stairs and slabs. Whoa, look at me go, placing blocks as a champ. Now there's a good reason for me using slabs and stairs, other than that it's beautiful. What do you think, Basti? That's nice. Good stuff. Also, we need it to be spawn-proof because of the lighting situation. Otherwise, I'm going to be in a world of trouble every time I want something out of the storage room. And that wouldn't be fun. 
No, it most certainly would not. I would not enjoy a creeper blowing up my entire storage system. Although it would make for some pretty decent content. With the entrance shaft completed, we can start making a roof and getting towards the storage part of this system. One, two. Look how cozy this is already. Now we're gonna want a buttload of chests. All right, I've got some chests and hopefully they will be enough. We'll just have to see. Okay, this is gonna take a few chests, huh? I'll be back with more resources. So, after realizing that using 20 chests was a bit optimistic, then I went down and shopped an entire forest, and look now, bingo bango bongo. We had enough. We had too many, honestly. After finishing off the chest part, I decided to make the ends of the room. And I struggled a lot with this part. I tried flipping the stairs every which way, and nothing seemed to work. I put them upside down, right way up, sideways, backwards, and suddenly, revelation. The simple shelf unit. Awesome. Now we got some fun stuff to do. Join me in the upper floor, will ya? Alright, here comes a moment that I didn't think would happen, at least this soon, into my world. We are going to do some redstone. Alright, instead of boring you all with the entire build process of this, because honestly, it's not it's not that big of a deal. It's a pretty simple redstone system, and I'm sure most of you have built something like this before. I wanted to talk about it, because it's, it's my own solution. I like it. So, anyways, we have a button down there, which is connected with this redstone wire, which goes all the way up here, into this machine right here. And this, my dear ladies and gentlemen, is a T-flip-flop. The way this works is that when we have an item in here, obviously this comparator can't see anything. So when you push the button, this dropper gets a redstone signal from here and shoots an item up into this one, like this. And once the item is in the top one, this comparator can see that there's an item in there, which sends a redstone signal of, in this case, one, into this repeater, which amplifies the signal to a signal strength of 15. And if you turn it off, boop, this dropper then shoots the item out. You get a signal here. Both of these actually activate, but it's fine because only this one has an item in it. And it sends it into this hopper, which then puts it in the bottom one, ready to be dispensed again. And the redstone signal goes from here, and this is the really simple part. It just goes right up here, gets a signal boost here, and then it goes onto this piston immediately. It goes through these repeaters, which has a slight delay into this one. And then same thing here, delayed into the next one, delayed next one, delayed next one. And there is one back there doing the exact same principle. Redstone is really simple when you do it simply. Yeah, good words. <laughs> so this is the effect we're after. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. And inside the storage system, it'll look a little something like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> that is so cool! <laughs> that is so cool! Oh, that looks so cool. All right, the build is finished. Let's go have a look at the results because it's so satisfying now. Look at this. So you come in here. And hidden in the corner here, a little stealthily, is our trap door. And we go down, 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 and oh my lord, it's dark. But there's a button. That is so cool. And there's all our chests, and we can sort everything up into different storage units. Oh, this is so cool. I love this build. I will spend some time now and sort stuff into chests. And here we are. It feels a bit weird standing here without the bed and all the chests. All that's here currently is, well, I have some farms here, manual farms, that I haven't moved yet, so the furnaces will have to stay for a little bit. But other than that, it's barren, and it's, it feels quite weird. I've been living up here for quite a while now, so it's gonna be strange living in, in a house Mostly because I, I like I usually never live in a house. 
I usually live like out here or in a cave. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Let me show you my new home. This is where I live now. And I've done some redecorating. We have now got a jukebox here. We've got a box of records. And on the back side, I've put some crafting stuff. And of course, the crown jewel, the storage, which is now no longer empty. We got such gems as gunpowder right here. Our farm is producing quite a lot. Honestly, uh, I haven't even AFK'd that far much, but still got a double chest of gunpowder, so that's nice. We've got some dyes here, bones from a skeleton farm, foods and stuff. I think right in here we got our potatoes. Yeah, you see all the stuff. Everything that was out there is now in here. And more stuff will be coming. I'm not done resource grinding yet. Nowhere near it. Now, there is something else quite strange about this place, except the lack of chests and a bed right now. And that is, I was in my home and I went out on the balcony. Let me show you what I mean. So, I was just in here minding my own business and took a little step out here. Watching the sun rise and having a grand old time. When I look to my left and what do I see? Hello? There's a pig here now. Another resident of the mountain. And I've even named him. It's Bacon. Bacon the pig. And if you thought Bacon was strange, well, wait till you see his brother. Right here. May I introduce you to Ham? Yes, Bacon and Ham. The two pigs of the cliffside. So, what are we up to now? We have a goat, a horse, a pig, a cat, and a pig. This mountain is getting stranger and stranger by the minute. And I'm here for it. <laughs> Someday we'll solve this mystery, but not right now. Today we are building and I think you can see behind me a spot of land that a gentle touch of man could really spruce up. Let's go have a look at it. All right, so I was going to talk a little bit about what we're going to do here, but I, I am really not feeling my best right now. So I'll just grind this out and we can talk about it after this grinding montage. All right. Alright, so it's been a little while since I recorded the last clip to you, and I'm feeling a lot better. And the grind took a little while, yeah. And there's also something I would like to show you, namely this.
that's right, we've got shaders now. <laughs> and everything with these shaders looks so, so cool. Just look at our mountain up there. And this whole district we built last time. Look at this. How cozy is this? And the moon and everything. It looks so great. But what I would like to show you now is what we built in today's episode. And that begins here. Let me give you the tour. So first off we got a little staircase and under here we got some caves. Here's my stuff just left out there. Ocean Goat is fine by the way. It's right there looking with these shaders pretty majestic I might say. Okay so this is the new part of our city and look at this way up here. Look at this. How cozy is it? This is what I want the entire city to feel like just walking through it. A lot of greenery, a lot of like just cozy vibes all through. Up here we got the signs. This is a back street just call it that for now we got the city center this way which it will be later on we got some zombies being annoying back there we got bass town all oh, good skeleton up there as well get down from there okay i guess he did this place under here i really like this it's like a little work area underneath this balcony yeah under this balcony and on top of the balcony this this, my dear people, is a stroke of genius from my part. See that? Look at this. Huh? Where's the water? Huh? Where's the water at? Huh? Well, let me tell you. It's right there. A waterlogged stair. I bet some of you are looking at this and like, Oh, waterlogged stair, of course. That's what we all use. But that's news to me. That's news to me. I didn't know that. But I figured it out. I figured it out now. So I'm gonna use it. And oh boy is it cool for this type of greenery in places where I couldn't have them earlier. Spider, get out. Mm, move. Enough of that building. We've got this small little one here, which you can get to from the inside of this one. This one looks really cozy with this super, super low roof and this tower next to it. Of course, inside there's absolutely nothing like we're used to, but that's the way things are. It's just empty for now, but it's cool. We like it. And this is the new section of our city. And also look at this, flying in over Ocean Goat. Man, I am pleased with this build. It's just such a cozy build. It just makes me want to build more. Anyways. I don't think we'll be playing a lot with shaders. I'll probably be playing like I usually am, this boring old self, but sometimes, you know, it's nice to just get a little bit of this, you know? Man, it's cool. Mostly because a lot of the mods I use don't work. I use stuff like I have my custom third person camera set up and I've got a lot of actually cool custom camera set up and like free cam doesn't work, replay mod doesn't work. So we won't be playing a lot with shaders, but to some extent we will. We will play some with it. Look, even the raid farm looks good with shaders. Although I, I will move it. I said last episode, I will move it. I will move it. Yep, I will. And this, our little storage unit here. Look at this with the shaders on. I've gotten a lot of progress done in this episode. And I also want to check this out because we've gotten some new buildings for the skyline. So I really want to see what it looks like coming up this way. Yep, it's starting to look a bit bigger now and a lot bigger it will become. This is just the beginning. There will be a lot, lot more. Trust me on that one. Just look at this bland shaderless world. Not <laughs> just kidding. I, I really like it. It's really vibrant and cool, even without the shaders. Let's take another look at a city without the shaders on, because this is more true to what it will be like. And honestly, it's so cool. I love the build I've done here and I feel like I've progressed as a builder a whole lot even since just starting this playthrough. I've gotten a lot better as a content creator and as a builder in Minecraft, which I feel is pretty cool. 
It's almost like, don't let anyone know I told you this, but it's almost like practice makes you better. Nah, <laughs> couldn't be. Anyways, this is the town and it's so cool. And I, I realized something looking back, I edit stuff as I go and I saw that we never looked at the front of this thing. This is the front, it's cool. Here's the door. Inside here, it's extremely empty. Even more empty than the other side. <laughs> I know. How do I keep upping myself? I don't even know myself. Sometimes my genius just knows no bounds. Oh, and something else you might notice? Yeah, the clouds. The clouds are looking fabulous. So good. And I wish Minecraft had these clouds as a preset because they're really cool. And unfortunately, I think that is all the time I have for this episode. And, uh... I would like to say a huge, huge thank you so much for watching this. And if you liked the video, please leave a like or maybe a comment in the comment section down below. And if you want more of my stuff, well, you can always subscribe. And if you want to join the community or just have a little chat, then please join my Discord. I will link an invite code in the video description and I will link it in my bio on YouTube as well. And don't worry, we're kind people. You can come have a chat. We'd enjoy your company. And anyways, it's getting dark and I need to sleep and have a nice day, night, morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.